problem 2.3-1. The problem reads, the stress strain diagram for a steel alloy is shown. Determine the modulus of resilience and the modulus of toughness of the material. And we are given a stress strain diagram. We have everything we need to do this problem. For the first step, I will find the modulus of resilience. Now the modulus of resilience is equal to the area under the stress strain curve up to the point of the proportional limit, which is approximately right here. Okay, the modulus of resilience is the area under the stress strain curve from a stress and strain of zero up to the proportional limit. That's represented here as one half because this shape is a triangle times the height, which is a 55 KSI, approximately, times, and that's uh, the stress, times the strain, which the corresponding strain is 0 0.002, and I get 0 0.055, and the units for strain energy are inch kips per cubic inch. Now to find the modulus of toughness, I am going to essentially find the area under the entire stress-strain curve all the way up to failure. Uh, there's several ways we can go about that. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get an approximation of the number of these little rectangles that we have here under the curve. If I can count the number of rectangles, that'll be an approximation of the area. So I'm going to first find the area of one of those rectangles. Okay, I can calculate the area of one rectangle to be uh, a height, has a height of 10 KSI, a width of 0 .0004 inches per inch, and that gives me 0 0.004 inch kips per cubic inch. That's one rectangle. Now I'm going to proceed to count all of the rectangles under the curve. So I've divided up the area under the stress strain curve into uh, rectangles and then counted the uh, number of smaller rectangles in each of the larger rectangles and I get an approximate number of rectangles under the curve to be about 315. I can now calculate my modulus of toughness to be approximately equal to 315 of those rectangles times the area of a single rectangle in units of inch kips per cubic inch, and I get a value of 1.26 inch kips per cubic inch. And my problem is done.